A Dauphin County woman contacted our senior investigator, Kendra Nichols, with questions about towing rules. Her car got towed twice. What does the law say and what can you do if you have a complaint? It's towing wars every day. Alexis Washington lives at an apartment complex in Harrisburg and is not happy about how and why some cars are being towed from the private property. I can count probably 10 people that have had their cars taken. She is one of those people. This is the second time one of my vehicles have been towed. She says the first time she bought a car and couldn't get a parking tag over the weekend because the property management office was closed. And the second time it was for an expired inspection sticker. Both of these violate the company's parking policy. In the past, not even six months, I've paid almost a thousand dollars to retrieve property that was mine. She did raise questions about how towing works. Well, they do their stocking during the day and they come and swipe during the night. They won't take anything but cash. But you can't come in here on a Saturday and get your car or a Sunday morning. You have to wait till Monday to get your car. You're paying the storage fees for the days that you cannot even come and pick up your car. The ABC 27 investigators got to work to find answers. We reached out to the property management company, which says it has a contract with the Harrisburg Towing Company, but did not want to share the details with us. The property management company says it has informed every household of its parking policies and signs are also posted in an effort to keep abandoned vehicles and non-residents from parking on the property. That's not uncommon. Dan the Spies is the executive director of the Pennsylvania Towing Association. The towing company just doesn't arbitrarily go in looking to tow vehicles for no reason. They're generally uh, working under the direction of a property management company or an HOA and they have the permission from those people or they call them directly and tell them to go in and remove vehicles. What about the towing company only accepting cash for impounded cars? They pay for it with a credit card. They can dispute that and cancel that card and now the tow company doesn't get paid. So they tell them we, we can only accept cash for this type of work. Under Act 110 of 2012, towing companies are required to post towing and storage fees and hours of operation at their business location. We also checked the towing company's hours listed online. It says the business updated its hours about two weeks ago, around the same time we started looking into this story. We could definitely be using this money towards other things. The community where Alexis lives is affordable housing. She believes the property management parking rules are putting a financial stress on the tenants. It's either pay your rent or keep your car so you can keep your job to keep progressing in life. And it's unfair that they're doing this to people. Well, clearly no one likes to have their car towed, but if you have issues with parking policies, your first step is to go to your HOA or property management group to see if a resolution can be met or maybe some changes can be made. If you think a towing company is breaking the law, you can file a civil suit or file a complaint with the attorney general's office. With the ABC 27 investigators, I'm Kendra Nichols.